Hello, my name is Miko, and in this video I will be reviewing Chicory, a colorful tale. It's a 2D adventure game made by Greg Lopanov and his team. So we're playing as this dog character named after your favorite food and lives inside of a coloring book. This once colorful world has just mysteriously lost all of its color, and it is now up to you to bring back the colors to the world with the help of your new magical paintbrush. And you can paint on pretty much everything you see in the game, including the many different characters that you can talk to. You don't even have to color the entire world if you don't want to. You are given complete freedom to paint the way that you want, and the game encourages you to do so. It's a big world with many different activities. There's lots of puzzles and challenges that you can do. You can listen to the different characters and help them out with side quests. There are lots of different collectibles to find, like lost kittens and clothing pieces. You can pick up trash from the ground, it helps the environment. You can even take art classes if you want to challenge your sense of creativity. Speaking of challenge, the game is not very difficult, except maybe some of the puzzles, but in general it's a pretty laid back experience. No stress. The boss battles may be a bit stressful, but they are not very difficult either. The story is straightforward and easy to follow. It's a story about the strive to be an artist and how your ambitions can lead to some personal challenges. And while it generally is all cute and cheerful, I'm glad it is not afraid to talk about some more serious things. It's all presented very well without being too complex, and I think it's the kind of story that will resonate with a lot of people. And then there's the soundtrack. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. But I guess that's no surprise coming from the composer of Celeste, Lena Rain. From the calming music in the rainforest. To the catchy and jazzy music in the city. and to the intense electronic music in the boss fights. There's a lot that I love about the music, and it's the kind of music that I can just sit and listen to even when I'm not playing the game. I do have a few minor issues with the game. There are some platforming sections in the game, which are fine for the most part, but because this is a 2D game with a top-down perspective, it can be a bit tricky to determine what platforms you can land on in some areas. And then I noticed a few areas where you can do this. That looks kinda weird. Lastly, I would have preferred to have multiple save files to work with, but you only have one save file. So that means deleting everything if you want to start a new game. This may not be an issue for most people, but it's still worth mentioning. But overall, I had a great time playing this game. It's definitely one of the most charming games to have come out this year. And if you are interested, I would highly recommend that you play it. And I am giving this game an 8 out of 10.